What is the best loophole that you've ever found? My brother once yelled last one to jump in the pool is gay and then jumped into the pool. However, I figured out that if I did not jump in then technically he would be the last one in the pool and he is still gay to this day. I didn't find this loophole, but my friend did. A few years back, an online store had this promotion where whoever spent the most money over a month would get free round trip airplane tickets to anywhere in the world. My friend, who's a ducking genius, found that one thing you could buy on the site was a gift certificate. So he bought a $25 gift certificate and kept spending it on another $25 gift certificate. So he ended up spending $25 on round trip tickets to Australia. My high school had a stupid rule that banned you from attending prom if you went to a Saturday detention that semester. I got in trouble and was assigned to Saturday. D hall, but my girlfriend really wanted to go to prom. I just kept skipping it and they kept adding more until they rolled it into a day of actual suspension. They had no rule barring you from prom for an out of school suspension, so I got a day off and took my girl to prom. Back in 2013, Papa John's had a promo for the Super Bowl where, if you called the coin toss correctly, you would get a voucher for a free one topping pizza. However, the only control in place was you could only enter the contest one time per ML address. I created more than 60 MLs, half of them calling heads, half tails. 8 free for 6 weeks. There was a drink machine in college that was $0.75 for a juice. If you put a dollar in it gave you 5 quarters in change. I got a juice every day for months before they finally fixed it. When I was in high school I applied for a summer job with the county. As part of the unbiased application process, each applicant was asked to take an intelligence test. The test consisted of about 80 questions. Each question was 4 or 5 line drawings, and you had to put an X in the box next to the one that didn't belong. Pretty easy. I happened to notice, though, that the test paper was two part, which is two sheets of paper that are attached together back to back with a sheet of carbon paper in between. I could peel the sheets apart and look inside, the second sheet just had a bunch of boxes printed on it, and I could see from the first few questions that I'd answered, that the X's I'd marked ended up in the printed boxes on the second sheet thanks to the carbon paper. So, I did all of the questions with obvious answers, and if I was unsure, I just peeled the paper apart, noted where the box was printed on the second sheet, and made sure I got it right. Of course, I got 100%. I figure that, if you can cheat on an intelligence test, you're pretty smart. I used to work at Papa John's to pay my way through college. There was a contest we had where, if you got someone to upsize their pizza from like a medium to a large for an extra $2, you got points towards movie tickets. A large was simply $2 extra normally anyways. Anyone that ordered a large, I simply put in a medium and upsized it. I won every ducking week. My coworkers didn't notice this obvious loophole, and it didn't cost the customer extra, so I didn't have a problem with this morally gray area. Free movie tickets every week was a huge in college. My brother got free parking for pretty much his entire time at university. It was that golden period when the pay parking kiosks were able to accept credit cards, but before they were actually connected. They'd read a card and check it against a locally stored list of band numbers, and once a month the meter maid would download the transactions, process them, and update the blacklist. My brother found that they'd accept those prepaid gift cards if they were backed by Visa or MasterCard, but couldn't check the available balance, so he'd buy one, use the balance up on whatever, the use the card for parking until the end of the month, when it would get processed, found to not have funds, and banned. Rinse and repeat. Guy saved probably $2,500 over his degree. Edit y'all can stop telling me this is illegal, I don't give a flying duck and you are far from the first to say so. Michigan used to have a law that a minor could not plead guilty to a crime without a lawyer. I found this out by accident when I was 13 and used it 3 more times before I was an adult. What happens is, that I as a minor would just plead guilty, they would then give me a sentencing date and let me leave. Then a week or so later I would get a letter stating 
that it is not legal for me to plead guilty without a lawyer and my case was dismissed or thrown out because of it. I got out of three minor in possession tickets that way. I can't remember when it happened, but it was years ago. I think it was next year, or some other canned tea, but if you bought a case of tea then there was a coupon on the box for a free case, except it was on every case, so now you have case hash 2 and another free case coupon. All the tea could be had. Using Limuire to download Limuire Pro, when I was in high school. I was working maintenance at McDonald's, when they did a Best Buy Bucks promotion. Large sodas and large fries had a scratch off that was worth at least $1 at Best Buy. I would go through the trash daily, pulling out all the discarded scratch-offs. I got a free computer that year for Christmas. I also had the poor cashier at Best Buy in tears. She had to manually scan each scratch-off and verify the dollar amount. Our local Tesco accidentally had two offers for Terra's chocolate orange at once, so if you bought four or a multiple of four, they gave you 50p. Tried not to abuse it, since if they noticed they change it, but bought 4 chocolate oranges with other stuff through the self checkout every day for almost 2 weeks, before they corrected it. I planned to save them for Christmas presents, but Christmas was 4 months away, and you know how delicious Terra's chocolate oranges are. Edit, to all non-Brits out there, since apparently they are not sold elsewhere, they are ducking delicious. If you ever come to England do yourself a favor and buy one. Or find a foreign confectionery shop and hope they sell them there. Took a survey course in college, which basically amounted to a course the school was planning to offer in the future, but giving the professor an opportunity to fine-tune the curriculum before officially offering it as a class. Easy enough course, got my credit, went home happy. Next semester the course went live, and was offered under a different course number, but the description was identical. Signed up, never attended a class, took the final, and got my credit again. Back in the day, two 5-piece chicken nuggets at Burger King cost less than a single 8-piece chicken nuggets. Me and those two extra nuggets were laughing all the way to the piggy bank. My university was trying to encourage people to walk so, if we download a specific health tracker that's connected to our account, it would convert steps into points. The points would get you stuff like free coffee, mugs, discounts for stuff and the most expensive prize, a university hoodie which costs about £30. Now, the health tracking app is pretty basic, it won't let you log your steps manually however it does let you connect with other health apps. I found a health app that would let me add in the steps and I logged in an equivalent of 50 kilometers a day, and in a few days of logging manually, I would get myself a hoodie or two, and I didn't get caught. However, I told my friend about it, and he really perfected the method of getting more steps a day, because apparently there was a hidden physical limit to how far a person can walk in a day, but he managed to trick it by setting his height to be 1 cm, and because the shorter you are, the more steps you need to take to cover the same distance. In the end he claimed about 10 plus hoodies and he would just get them for anyone who asks. The uni found it suspicious, so he received an email telling that the activity had to stop unless he could provide evidence that he walked that much. Another friend had a different method. You get points just by being friends with them on the university health website. He also found that he could access a list of everyone who had an account in that website. So he made a python script that would automatically send a request to everyone, earning him points. For a while McDonald's had a promo where, when you walked in, you could scan a quarter code and possibly get free food. However, different locations and different cutouts had different codes. I took pics of as many unique codes I could find, put them all on a handy PDF, and scanned them all using an Android device and an iOS device before lunch. I got free extra value meals regularly. In fact, I still had a couple free ones left over when they stopped the promotion. Back in the 1960s, the school district in my hometown was broken up and absorbed into the surrounding districts. Fast forward to 2003. I'm applying to colleges. I discovered that there is a scholarship fund for people living in that old district's area. The district is gone, but the scholarship still exists. I applied and got the scholarship. I don't think there were any other applicants. 
Italian restaurant my family loves, had a candy claw machine we played every time we went. But the trick to learn was, if the claw closed all the way it thought that meant you didn't get anything, and would let you play till you did get something. This means we would go for individual items, that would fit into the claw perfectly, one sucker, one laffy taffy, so it would close all the way, instead of trying to get a big lot all at once, that way it wouldn't register the candy and we could keep going and going. We actually took so long, once our parents made us leave before our turn was up, and we still, left with handfuls of candy the best part. It only cost a quarter. They no longer have that machine.